No one likes a rejection, even when you have the wisdom to see that it provides an opportunity for growth. You won't like being rejected. But there is a difference between not liking it and feeling devastated by it. Unfortunately, rejection-sensitive people tend to see it everywhere. And for them, the impact is big, making it difficult to near impossible to move past even the smallest rebuff. So here's the defining signs of rejection sensitivity. Number one, being unable to move forward. One way people overreact is that they ruminate about feeling or being rejected, like water flushing in the toilet. Their thinking spirals downward into a dark hole and they are unable to climb out. Number two, overreacting. Think about your experiences of rejection and ask yourself, do I tend to overreact? Consider whether you tend to see rejection in an ambiguous situation or you respond to small rejection as monumental ones. Number 3. Responding with intense anger. If you are fearful of rejection, your fear may be accompanied by anger. It's a way of fighting back, the fear or trying to overcome it. While anger can feel more empowering than fear, anger also keeps you focused on the other person rather than on your inner struggles. You may stir up more trouble in your relationship and never really address or resolve your fears. Number 4. Guarding against judgment. Many people who struggle with feelings inadequate or unworthy are, not surprisingly sensitive to rejection. Expecting to be rejected, they naturally guard against being judged by withdrawing socially or being extremely attentive and caring to others. While they might avoid rejection, they also suffer from feeling alone either because they don't interact with others or because they feel that friends would not like them if they knew the real me. Number 5. Responding with an it-doesn't-bother-me attitude Some people seem totally unfazed by what others think. However, for many, this is a case of appearances being deceiving. They don't want to be upset by judgment or rejection, so they pretend that they don't care, or they numb themselves to its pain. But the pain often cannot be contained and it expressed in indirect ways such as feeling depressed or anxious for no reason or being defensive in relationship. Number 6. Being independent and self-sufficient. Extremely self-sufficient people are also more sensitive to judgment than they appear. Although they don't feel afraid of rejection, this lack of concern is the product of avoiding it. So. If you recognize any of these traits in yourself, it might be time to start looking more closely at your sensitivity to rejection. Consider the different example of it in your life. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.